This is the Cambridge Key English Test, Paper Two, Listening, Test Number Three. There are five parts to the test: parts one, two, three, four, and five. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now, because you mustn't speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? About thirty. That's not many. No, but more than last time. The answer is thirty, so there is a tick in box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One, what's George doing now? Hi, where's George? Is he still studying? He's driving his girlfriend to the airport. Oh, will he be back for the volleyball game? I don't think so. We'll have to play without him. Now listen again. Hi, where's George? Is he still studying? He's driving his girlfriend to the airport. Oh, will he be back for the volleyball game? I don't think so. We'll have to play without him. Two. Which room will the woman stay in? Here's your key, Mrs. Hill. Your room is number forty-three. Up the stairs and turn right. Is it a quiet room? Well. It's quieter at the back of the hotel. Here, have this one if you prefer. Number twenty-three. Thanks. I'll need the room for six nights. Now listen again. Here's your key, Mrs. Hill. Your room is number forty-three. Up the stairs and turn right. Is it a quiet room? Well. It's quieter at the back of the hotel. Here, have this one if you prefer. Number twenty-three. Thanks. I'll need the room for six nights. Three. What will the boy wear in the race? Have you got everything for the race? Yes, I think so. I'll wear these long running trousers. It's quite cold. Don't you want your hat too? It's in my bag. I'll put it on later. Now listen again. Have you got everything for the race? Yes, I think so. I'll wear these long running trousers. It's quite cold. Don't you want your hat too? It's in my bag. I'll put it on later. Four. What colour will the room be? What colour are you going to have your room, Anne? I'd like to paint it green, but Mum thinks yellow looks warmer. Orange is my favourite colour. I like it too, but I'll have to do what Mum wants. Now listen again. What colour are you going to have your room, Anne? I'd like to paint it green, but Mum thinks yellow looks warmer. Orange is my favourite colour. I like it too, but I'll have to do what Mum wants. Five. Where did Minnie and Richard first meet? Richard, 
Have you met the new student in our class? Do you mean Minnie? Yes, she's the one who's a very good tennis player. I've known her since January. That's when her family moved next door to mine. Now listen again. Richard, have you met the new student in our class? Do you mean Minnie? Yes, she's the one who's a very good tennis player. I've known her since January. That's when her family moved next door to mine. This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to Jack and Mark talking about a new sports centre. Which sport can they do each day at the centre? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter, A to H, next to each day. You will hear the conversation twice. Hello, Jack. You want to go to the sports centre one day a week, don't you? Well, I've got some information. On Monday, there's golf. Hmm, I prefer volleyball, Mark. Also, Monday's a bad day for me. Tuesday's better. Is there volleyball then? It's basketball. But you like that, don't you? Quite. What can you do on Wednesday? Let's see. It was badminton, but not enough people wanted to do it, so it's swimming now. That's no good for me, because I hate water. And I go to swimming at school every Tuesday. Is there anything outside? Uh, football or hockey? On Thursday. But they don't do hockey, I'm afraid, just football. But look, Friday's good. Why? You say you like volleyball. Well, that's at the sports centre then. Great! Or there's Saturday. Swimming again. Tennis. That's outside. And you like it better than football, don't you? Yes, but I like volleyball best. Now listen again. Hello, Jack. You want to go to the sports centre one day a week, don't you? Well, I've got some information. On Monday, there's golf. Hmm... I prefer volleyball, Mark. Also, Monday's a bad day for me. Tuesday's better. Is there volleyball then? It's basketball. But you like that, don't you? Quite. What can you do on Wednesday? Let's see. It was badminton, but not enough people wanted to do it, so it's swimming now. That's no good for me, because I hate water. And I go to swimming at school every Tuesday. Is there anything outside? Uh, football or hockey? On Thursday. But they don't do hockey, I'm afraid, just football. But look, Friday's good. Why? You say you like volleyball. Well, that's at the sports centre then. Great! Or there's Saturday. <sighs> Swimming again. Tennis. That's outside. And you like it better than football, don't you? Yes, but I like volleyball best. This is the end of part two. Now look at part three. Listen to Diane talking to a friend about a trip to London. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds.
Now listen to the conversation. I tried to phone you yesterday. Oh, sorry. I was busy all day, and then I went to London in the evening for a meal with some friends. Did you take your car? I left it at home. Parking's such a problem, but the underground was closed for repairs, so I had to take the bus. It was quite slow. Did you go to your favourite Spanish restaurant? I was hoping to try some Mexican food, but my friends booked a table in a Chinese place. Was it expensive? Quite cheap, actually, and the food was very good. But it's only a small restaurant, so a lot of people had to wait for tables, and it was quite noisy. You didn't stay there and talk afterwards, then. We went for a walk along the river. It was too late for the cinema. Didn't you get wet? It rained here all evening. The wind was very cold, but it stayed dry. And then it snowed during the night. That was after I got home, but I had a really good evening. Now listen again. I tried to phone you yesterday. Oh, sorry. I was busy all day, and then I went to London in the evening for a meal with some friends. Did you take your car? I left it at home. Parking's such a problem, but the underground was closed for repairs, so I had to take the bus. It was quite slow. Did you go to your favourite Spanish restaurant? I was hoping to try some Mexican food, but my friends booked a table in a Chinese place. Was it expensive? Quite cheap, actually, and the food was very good. But it's only a small restaurant, so a lot of people had to wait for tables, and it was quite noisy. You didn't stay there and talk afterwards, then. We went for a walk along the river. It was too late for the cinema. Didn't you get wet? It rained here all evening. The wind was very cold, but it stayed dry. And then it snowed during the night. That was after I got home, but I had a really good evening. This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. You will hear a woman talking to a shop assistant about buying a video film for her daughter. Listen and complete questions sixteen to twenty. You will hear the conversation twice. Can I help you? I'm looking for the new Brad Smith video about a boy who works as a waiter. My daughter wants it, but I don't know the name. Oh yes, it's called Blue Cafe. <laughs> My daughter is thirteen. Is she old enough to watch it? It's for anyone who is twelve or older, so she'll be okay. I hope it's not too expensive. Some videos are nearly twenty pounds. It's five pounds ninety-nine. We're selling it at a special price today. Great. Can I have one, please? I'm sorry. I've just sold the last one. You'll have to go to our other shop. Oh dear. Where's that? It's in Shirley Street. That's S H I R L E Y. Oh, that's where the post office is, isn't it? Yes. The video shop's not far from there, just across the road from the bank. It's only five minutes from here. Okay. Thanks for your help. Now listen again. Can I help you? I'm looking for the new Brad Smith video about a boy who works as a waiter. My daughter wants it, but I don't know the name. Oh yes, it's called Blue Cafe. <laughs> My daughter is thirteen. Is she old enough to watch it? It's for anyone who is twelve or older, so she'll be okay. I hope it's not too expensive. Some videos are nearly twenty pounds. It's five pounds ninety-nine. We're selling it at a special price today. Great. Can I have one, please? I'm sorry. I've just sold the last one. You'll have to go to our other shop. Oh dear. Where's that? It's in Shirley Street. That's S H I R L E Y.
Oh, that's where the post office is, isn't it? Yes. The video shop's not far from there, just across the road from the bank. It's only five minutes from here. OK. Thanks for your help. This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear some information about a visitor to a school. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. Now listen carefully, everybody. Here is some excellent news. Next Thursday, a most interesting visitor is going to come to talk to us. He's the astronaut, Dr Robert Teal. That's T-E-A-L-E. -E. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of him. He's very famous for his journeys into space. He's going to talk to us about space travel. Only he can tell us just what it's like to travel round the Earth in a spaceship, past the moon and the stars. The whole school is going to listen to Dr Teal. We will use the school hall, because none of the classrooms will be big enough. Classes will finish at twenty past two on Thursday, because the talk will start at half past. Don't be late. If your parents would like to hear Dr Teal, we have a few extra seats. The ticket price for them will be £3.85, but of course, for students, it is free. Now listen again. Now listen carefully, everybody. Here is some excellent news. Next Thursday, a most interesting visitor is going to come to talk to us. He's the astronaut, Dr Robert Teal. That's T-E-A-L-E. -E. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of him. He's very famous for his journeys into space. He's going to talk to us about space travel. Only he can tell us just what it's like to travel round the Earth in a spaceship, past the moon and the stars. The whole school is going to listen to Dr Teal. We will use the school hall, because none of the classrooms will be big enough. Classes will finish at twenty past two on Thursday, because the talk will start at half past. Don't be late. If your parents would like to hear Dr Teal, we have a few extra seats. The ticket price for them will be £3.85, but of course, for students, it is free. This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. This is the end of the test.